Ready to roll? Three, two. You're, you you're recording. All, All right. Rolling. Welcome to the Brain Invaders YouTube channel. <laughs> Woo! You were listening to Brain Invaders episode 127. Mm -hmm. 127, we explained the Amazon Prime challenge. Once again, here are the rules. A couple of weeks ago, I issued a challenge to the hosts of Brain Invaders. He's Chuck. He's Thomas. And the three of us used our Amazon Prime to order the cheapest single item we could find to have shipped to our home in two days or less. So we have two contests we're going to hold. One, who found the cheapest item? Doesn't matter what it is. We're not going to open it. We're not going to show you. We're going to find out who found the cheapest item. Then we're going to open them up. None of us know what the other is ordered. And then we're going to vote and decide who got the coolest item independent of the expense. There was about a four-day window to order. You had to order it in and of itself with nothing else, no add-ons to qualify. had to be an independent item. And uh, $5 was the cap. Not a problem to meet. So without further ado, Thomas... How much did you spend on your item through Amazon Prime? I, I got to open up my email. Um, <laughs> no, don't look at the item. Okay. I spent uh, $2.87. eighty-seven And it, it arrived on December 7th, 2017. The day paper clips. that will live in infamy. Sexy paper clips, right? Sexy paper clips. Yeah. Chuck, how much did you spend on your item? Uh, $4.22. Four twenty two. Yeah. And two eighty seven you said? I spent two dollars and eighty seven cents. Okay, well, full disclosure, as I noted, I set up the parameters of the contest. I failed to abide by them. What? I did <laughs> I did <laughs> do about an hour's worth of scouring Amazon <laughs> after I set up the rules and I flagged this three items. Fly on a game show. I'm no. like, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Well, thankfully, wah, I'm the wah, judge, wah, jury, wah. and executioner. But <laughs> So I set up the parameters, and I spent about an hour, and I flagged three items. And when I realized by the time the deadline had passed that I hadn't ordered one, by default, I took the cheapest one, not necessarily the coolest of the three, took the cheapest item I had found, and I went ahead and placed an order for it after I'd missed the deadline. I came in as the winner of the cheapest. I found an item for 249 And one, one note for all of you who want to take the Amazon challenge, you want to make it fun, I don't know if this exists, but I'm pretty sure there are websites and tools to help you find super cheap items that you can order for free shipping as an Amazon Prime member. We were all prohibited from using any sort of outside sources, tools, recommendations. In order to find these items, we had to just scour the site on our own to come up with what we did. 249 is your winner. With that, I will open it first because I can promise you it will not be the coolest of the items, despite the fact it was the cheapest of the three. Now, now if I did get paper clips, it would have been 209, just for you, the record. You found 209 paper clips? I found 209 paper clips. I didn't look at paper clips. It was clips. an add-on. I got a package of 294 stickers. They are all gold foil stars, which yeah, you can't really not, see not very clearly. That. Yeah, because you're holding gold foil <laughs> up to the light. <laughs> you're holding the most reflective thing you can buy. Up but to as the you light. can tell, it is a thin gold. package of stickers. 294 gold foil teacher created resources stickers. Not the coolest item we're going to see, I'm sure, but good enough to be the cheapest. Uh, second <clears throat> cheapest was Thomas, so why don't we move over to you? I thought when you were going by the cheapest that you meant whoever happens to have the most uh, cheap, like like if you buy this in a store, it costs this much, but you buy it on Amazon, so it's this. So that could be a, another um, like uh, avenue of competition. Yeah, I think at first it was like the best deal or the... that Yeah, best deal. Yeah. Like, like so the best deal on my... Okay, all right. Anyway. I went with the right. new rules, so... Yeah, I mean, it's, since we're clearly not following any freaking rules on this competition anyway. It's an experiment. Anyway. It's new. No All one's right, really so, done this. So I did not spend uh, maybe 20 minutes, I think, looking. Um, I will say I got the sexiest item, though. So we're going to no, we're gonna go we'll for see. that. Um, I got ultra clean 10-pack of Crayola washable markers. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Um, now my, my ploy for these being the best item is that first of all, there's 10, <laughs> um, they are Better ultra clean. Nine. Well, obviously there's like eight pack of markers, right? <laughs> One extra color. <clears throat> um, they are the quote unquote brightest, truest colors yet. Uh, and there's a 10 pack and it's called color max. So that's, that's my 
my what would item. you what would you do with those markers like uh, dude if you had you, a white t-shirt what would you draw on it um probably a unicorn dancing on top of a rainbow with skittles popping out okay i can see that you got by the way there. if i washed if i wrote on my uh my shirt, it would mm. come right off because it comes off of clothing, it says. Because they're ultra clean washable? <clears throat> that sounds like another Correct. video we can experiment with. <laughs> well, all right. So at 287, uh, we're not voting it, but I'm going to go out on a limb and guess yours is cooler than mine. The big spender here today is Chuck, who spent, did you say, 422? 422. 422. Well, open mm. it up and let's see what you found for no, 422. I don't remember exactly what I turned down. I, there was an inflatable lobster. Uh, there was a uh, gold paper clips, which I think it was two oh nine. Um, where was I when I when you found God, these? I didn't find any of this. There stuff. was a bunch of crazy. There was a joke book for two twenty two. Wow. Um, so yeah, I could have gotten lower, but I just I actually ran a lot of these by my wife. I'm like, which sounds the wackiest out of all of these, and so I'm gonna go for coolest. <clears throat> Wait, don't open it yet. What? Don't open it yet. I'm gonna have to cut this. I have to run. The dog won't stop barking. <laughs> I demand attention now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just kind of. Yeah, I was. I, right I think there. I posted on on um on the. I either tweet, I either tweeted or texted you guys, or po I posted on the Facebook page. I think I texted it. A picture of some sort of quasi comic book or something for like three fifty nine, like a a superheroes. It's a, a, oh, like yeah. a geared more toward children. It was like a children's style comic book or or book of some kind, and I'm like, that's cooler than the than the pieces of or the stickers but all right yeah. so let's pick it up where you hey, like. i was kind of going for the most unusual or wackiest or i'm like i could at least get that category um <clears throat> it's not opening as well as i was hoping so we'll just uh bust her open here <clears throat> grow a girlfriend what <laughs> <laughs> so we got this uh uh, sexy looking, uh, looks like a body bodybuilder woman um, that you can put in a tank of water and grow her to larger sizes. Let me see that. Let me see that. Does it really work? Uh, there's one way to find out. <laughs> when we're talking larger sizes, is it going from this big to well, it's that like big? I mean, it's not going like, to grow to three feet in size but it, this is amazing chuck you you because like they have like the growing i'm trying to think what the original one was back when i was a kid but um basically you take these things you throw them in water and they can grow to any size i mean i've seen some like get monstrously huge like ridiculously huge and the more you leave it to sit in water the bigger it gets wow um and then like i think uh when vincent was younger we got a starfish that grew you know, pretty big. I mean, it was just a big floppy wet thing. <laughs> and, uh, um, it, it was pretty impressive how much it grew, but, uh, the reviews on this one said that it didn't grow as big as they were kind of hoping it would. <laughs> All right. Uh, so. Place your grow a girlfriend into a glass of water and watch as it grows to six times its original size. Yeah. Girlfriend will slowly shrink when removed from water. Aww. Then you can grow it again and again. <laughs> All right, so that's Chuck's find. The big spender came up. You probably can't see this very well, oh, but it's there it is. Grow a Girlfriend at 422. Well, with that, Thomas, what do you think? Is there any, is there any contest? <laughs> uh, my vote for coolest goes to uh, Charles. Charles, your vote is irrelevant. We have a winner. Congratulations. It is you. Yay! What do we win? Uh, a girl all girl. prizes, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Here, so. Oh, wow. So, uh, actually, thank I you for want tuning in and joining us for the Amazon Prime Challenge. Join us again next time. There will be a next time. We don't know when, where, or how, but we'll come up with one. And thanks for watching. Lost my mind. Peace. Peace.